हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल गूगल गूगल गलेक्सी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस आर लाइन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन स्पेक्टर टॉपिक अंडर द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ एटम रिमेंबर वन थिंग दैट इफ द प्रेशर इनसाइड द डिस्चार्ज ट्यूब द प्रेशर इनसाइड द डिस्चार्ज ट्यूब हैविंग सम कैथोड एंड एनोड इलेक्ट्रोड्स अटैच्ड विद द हाई वोल्टेज बैटरी If the pressure inside this tube is higher, then there will be no flow of current from cathode to anode side. From cathode to anode side, there there will be no flow of electrons from cathode to anode side. If higher will be the pressure, pressure will be the higher, no current flow. No current flow. when the scientist reduces the pressure to a certain limit then a light is emitted from cathode to anode side a light is emitted from anode to cathode from cathode to anode side indicates that the flow of current indicates flow of current the color of light depends upon the nature of gas when this emitted light is analyzed by the spectroscope spectroscope this is the device to analyze the color the behavior of light just to analyze the light they found that the spectrum consists of large number of lines which is group which is grouped into different series the spectrum is a kind of is a kind of what is spectrum spectrum is basically a spectrum is basically a recorded film on which pattern or or i just said or can or i can just say that this spectrum is basically a film on which the pattern of emitted radiations are recorded the pattern of emitted radiation in this tube is recorded just to record the pattern of radiation pattern of radiation the number of lines the number of radiations having particular pattern a complete series appear on the spectrum the complete spectrum is known as hydrogen spectrum the complete is known as hydrogen spectrum a scientist name redberg scientist name redberg gave a formula a simple theoretical equation for the calculation of wavelengths of different series of hydrogen spectrum the formula the equation is given by we just need to remember to calculate the wavelength of this spectrum 1 upon lambda is directly proportional to or i can say this wave number is equals to wave number is equals to this one is constant this one is the integers these are the these are the number of shells they gave a simple theoretical formula here rh is acting as redberg constant and its value and its value is about 1.09 into 10 to the power 7 per meter 
this one is the value for read book constant this whole theory the spectrum of whole hydrogen spectrum is explained by the scientist bohor what he said he he has explained that the atoms are having the number of shells and their names are k l m n shell these shells are having the electrons these shells are having these shells are also known as energy levels the electron tends to close to the nucleus if electron is revolving around this nucleus these electrons tends to have have the tendency to remain near to the nucleus as possible the lowest energy state is called as ground state the electron is is towards actual shell we called as ground state if the energy is given to the electron from the outside source the electron will definitely observe the energy and jump to the higher level and jump to the higher level it will reach to the some upper level we call this level as excited state in the hydrogen atom a single electron is present if present in the k shell if we just supply energy it will observe the energy equal to equal to hv this one is planck's quantum theory make sure that you have seen my previous video to understand the concept of planck when it observe the energy it will jumps to its higher level or we can say it will jumps from ground state to excited state ground state is the actual state from ground state to high state it is expected that excited states are unstable the electrons are jump bank to the electrons are to jump back to ground state first the electron reaches from ground state to excited state then it, it will excited state is always unstable they need to jump the electrons are to jump to the ground state it may be noticed in the returning journey that they may follow same route let us consider if an electron jump from n4 it may it may from higher shell if an electron jump to the level 4 from 5 6 7 shell to fourth shell it will it will release a radiation release radiation which is of particular wavelength and frequency we called that radiation as we called that radiation as bracket bracket series if the electron jump from from higher level that is 2 3 4 shell k from the k l m n 5th 6th up to infinity just jump to first first shell it will release a particular light of having particular wavelength we call that wavelength we call that light as lehman series 
layman series similarly similarly we are having the balmer series balmer radiation if an electron jump from higher state to lower state higher state may be anything 3 4 5 6 it if it is but the electron reaches to the second level it will release a radiation we name that radiation as balmer series which is a part of line spectrum of hydrogen record a pattern over a spectrum so if it is jump to the n is equals to 5 from higher level we call that is p fund series p fund series your books are having a diagram like is in this form so diagram will diagram is basically complex for me so i have just explained the whole concept you can just understand this one is higher level this one is every level is having some kind of energy 7 6 5 4 so if an electron jumps from higher level to first level higher level to first level when it reaches to first level from higher level to first level it will release the layman series we call this one as layman series from any if it is 7 from 2 1 7 from 1 we call it as layman series remember one thing the overall the destination point will be the first shell if the destination point will be the second shell it will definitely release the not the layman it will release the Bellman series Bellman series this is whole about the line of, of spectrum